The next section will briefly mention a few of the additional guidelines that CUSC will follow for safety and development purposes. Concussion research has brought awareness to the potential that improper heading may cause serious injury. As advised by the U.S. Soccer Federation and Alabama Soccer Association, intentional heading has been banned for players ages 10 and under. Due to mixed ages at CUSC, there will be no intentional heading in games through U12. Proper heading instruction and limited repetitions can occur at practice for ages 11 and up. To help reduce the risk of potentially heading the ball and to learn proper buildup of play, goalkeepers at U8 and U10 are not allowed to punt or to throw over the heads of players. While permitted, punting is discouraged at the U12 level to encourage better play. You may hear coaches and staff members talk about mandatory positioning. This guideline simply refers to the idea that we want players to learn positions and roles on the field rather than simply chasing the ball around or performing some type of discouraged style, structure, or tactic. While we do keep score at all ages and believe in the value of lessons learned from winning and losing in competition, our goal at CUSC is the development of all players. Competitive balance may be implemented to ensure this development. Teams winning by four or more goals must complete a certain number of passes before scoring. This challenges the winning team to improve their game and also gives the losing team a chance to get better as well. In this section, we will identify the common positions that players may learn as they progress through each age division. There are three basic categories of positions, defenders, midfielders, and forwards. Beginning at U8, goalkeepers will be introduced. Of course, this is the only player allowed to control the ball with their hands. Moving up the field, we have defenders. As more players are added and systems become more complex, you may hear specific names of defenders, such as the center back, sweeper, stopper, wing back, or fullback. Near the center of the field, midfielders are tasked with transitioning the ball from the back to the front. Other names of midfielders may be center mid, left mid, right mid, attacking mid, defending mid, holding mid, and halfback. Lastly, the forwards are the furthest up the field in the opponent's half. Other than scoring goals, these players are the first line of defense against the other team. You may also hear these names for forwards. Left and right forward, winger, center forward, and striker. A system of play in soccer is a way to organize the players in the field so that each player has a specific responsibility within a formation. Variations come in deciding how many players at each position, their specific role, and the exact shape of the formation. Systems are numbered from back to front, often excluding goalkeepers. For example, when playing 9v9 at U12, a 3-2-3 formation has three defenders, two midfielders, three forwards, and of course one goalkeeper.